Hi great YouTubers, welcome back. Do you know that AI can help you write PLC code in OpenPLC? In this video, we will do just that by using OpenPLC and ChatGPT. We will program four conveyors to start in sequence without delay using the OpenPLC editor. The easiest way to achieve this with AI is to use a test-based PLC language like structured test. Luckily, structured test is one of the default language in open PLC. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you always be notified whenever I upload new videos. To do this, let's go to Google and then search for ChatGPT. Okay, I click on this icon and then click on this link and then let's ask our question. We are saying that we should write a PLC program in structured test, that is ST, to run four conveyors in sequence without the delay when a start push button is pressed and when a stop push button is pressed we stop the conveyance okay great and we can see that is developing the code and we can see the body of the code now being developed this is great and lovely to watch okay now let's look into the code we can see the variable declaration at this section of the code and now when we move down we have the body of the code we have an if statement indicating that when the start latch is on then we need to start this set of conveyors and then when is off we need to turn the conveyors off now let's copy this code and then send it to open plc editor i now launch the editor and then create a new project i go to file new and then select the folder where i want to keep the project and then i create a new project sorry a new folder in this project and then i name it st underscore example and now select this folder and then give the project a name st underscore test and then select the language which is st and then click ok great we have the interface open this is where our variable is and this is where we write our code okay i click on the plus to add a variable we now come here copy the code generated by the ai which is chat gpt and then paste it here we now need to section these codes correctly all the variables need to come into this variable table so I copy the first variable, which is the start button, and then paste it here. I need to change the data type. We can see it's boo. And then I need to specify an output address, which is Q, sorry, percent IX 0.0 .0 for my start input. I add another variable, and then this is going to be our stop button. And the address is 0 0.1 i add the next variable and we can see this is an internal variable so i paste it there and i need to delete this because it does not need a physical address i click on the next and now specify the output i paste the first conveyor and then i need to assign the output address which is 0, 0.0 i add the rest by clicking on this plus sign 
and then we can see all the four conveyors added I need to delete this section now and strangely the comments are not working I need to delete them as well it's still showing error I come here and delete these sections too as well okay good I now move here I would like to change this one to a meaningful name so I will say build conveyor 01 this VC01, VC02, VC03, and then finally VC04. Okay, great. Now let's scroll through and then see if there are other errors. We can see here it's still underlined. So I'll copy this section and then paste it. Okay, we can see the error is gone. Great. Believe it or not, this is all what we need to do. The editing is done. And then we can now compile this code. I now need to do a bit of modification before compiling. My PLC input is pulled up, so I need to not the signals. Okay. So this is the very change I need to do and then I click on the upload or oh, sorry the compile button. Now I select the board. My Arduino PLC board is a nano board so I select nano. Remember you can use any other nano board as well, not necessarily this PLC board. And now move to the iOS, it's fine, I move to the communication and then enable Okay, and I click on transfer with my board connected. We can see the code is compiling. Okay, we can watch the activity on the board. Okay, the download is done. You can see the light flashed. Great, we have our code in our board now. Now let's do a quick test. Now if I send 12 volts, to my input that is my start you can see all the three relay four relay sorry picking and then when i send it to the stop it stops wow this is working great and this was developed just by an ai thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial where we will look at a complex example thank you see you in the next tutorial bye bye